Stop. I'm not doing it, I'm dude. Not doing it. I'm not doing anything. Zoe, what are you doing? I'm not dude, moving. Dude, I'm not doing anything. Seriously. Dude, it's probably you. Why yeah, would I dude. do it? This yeah. stuff freaks me out. You know that. I never even wanted to do this. Dude, I'm not doing this. Okay, it was me. Calm <laughs> down, bro. Oh my god. Oh, we didn't even do the figure eight thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so ready? Alright, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Is there something in the room with us? Oh my god. Dude, Dude, are you doing this? I'm not even joking, I'm not. Are you a ghost? Thank god it's not a ghost. <clears throat> what, what are, are you, you then? What is that? J-I-N-N? What's a gin? Q? I don't know what it is. Dude, What's wrong? It's, like, it's from my like religion. It's like it's like us, but except it's like you. There's different types. It's like good or bad, but they is don't it, have free will like us. If they're made good is or it bad, kind of like a spirit. Yeah, kind of. The ghost. Hold on. Put your hands back on. Are you good or bad? What does the moon mean? There's a moon and a sun. Dude. Moon means bad. Oh my gosh. Dude, you better not stop be doing moving. this. Dude. Yeah, the moon means bad. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm out of here. Dude, sorry. Dude, calm down. It's just dude, calm a game. down. It's just a thing. Oh it's on the game. Gosh. Hey, dude, you okay? I'm kind of freaked out back there. Alright, dude, let me tell you a story to make you feel better. So, my mom was originally from India, she was visiting her uncle's house, and then, so she was sleeping in the night, and then she hears some rustling in the leaves. She looks up and there's like a snake looking at her, <laughs> and then she just bursts out screaming. Everybody wakes up, and then my uncle, I mean, her uncle comes and strangles the snake. <laughs> so you said your mom was uh, from India, right? Yeah, South. So why don't we just do our heritage probably instead of screwing on Ouija boards? Oh yeah. Zoabe. Oh my god. Alright, so in the heritage probably we had to talk about um, our family's country of origin. My parents are from the North Indian state of Punjab. Yours are from... South India. And Zoe, what about you? My mom's from California and my father is from Pakistan. Yeah, so how do you stay uh, connected to your family mm -hmm. roots? Uh, mainly just food, and we celebrate some holidays. Yeah, mine, I I only stay, uh, I don't really stay connected that much. Mainly just food also. What about you, Nikhil? Not really, only just food. Yeah. Not much. But how does your family's uh, country of origin affect you? Mine just really, mostly <coughs> religion. What about you, Zoe? Uh, religion and how my culture is. Like, we have an alcohol-free household, so, yeah, it's different lifestyle than others. What about you, Nikhil? Well, mostly just food. Yeah, not really anything, huh? Whoa, oh my god. What the Dude, what just happened? 
Oh my god. Come on, let's find a flashlight. Alright. Can you find one? Right here. I can't see anything. Alright, there. Oh, thank god. Alright. Maybe I get out of here. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on. The gin, I'm telling you, we shouldn't have messed with the Ouija board. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is freaking me out. Let's just like focus on the Heritage Project. Okay, yeah. so we're on fun facts, right? Yeah. Alright, so both of my grandmas, I mean grandpas on my mom's side, were actually really rich. But then once they both died, all the money went to my mom's aunts and uncles, and her family didn't gain any of it. Oh wow! That so sucks. she they, like missed a big opportunity. Yeah. Like a million years. <coughs> well, uh, actually, my dad, he came from Pakistan when he was 16, and he came to America, and he had to work a lot to get what he has now, like his driver's license and everything, because he was an immigrant. And my mom was born in Torrance, California. Fun fact about my dad, he was also a, an immigrant too. He went from like right around age 17 working all his life on the fields in Punjab, barely making enough to provide for his whole family, <coughs> just uh, working and eating off the farm. He moved to Italy where he moved and he worked as a, a, a cleaner of elephant poop actually in a circus for about three years and then after that he moved to Switzerland where he worked as a dishwasher for around two years and then after that he he lived all over Europe for about ten years when he finally moved to uh, the United States in California where he started working 18 hour shifts for five years straight and then eventually he worked his way up the the ladder, and he achieved the American dream, and that's why I live here now. Wait, so jinns can't like actually possess people, can they? Yeah, well, that was gonna be one of my anecdotes. Is a long time ago, uh, my cousin Jessica, she was sleeping, and my mom and all the other, all my other cousins, were all talking, and randomly they saw Jessica. She got up and she was just walking towards the door to leave. And then my mom came and she was like, Jessica, Jessica, stop, where are you going? And she wasn't responding. And then finally my mom turned her around and Jessica had like this, her eyes were rolled back and her face was like, really like mad. And yeah, but then she snapped out of it. My dad? He actually told me a story, uh, he asked to go to the bathroom, but the teacher wouldn't let him. And so the, when the teacher wasn't looking, there was an ex the teacher had an extra pair of shoes lying around, and my dad actually uh, just peed and filled up my teacher's shoes. And my dad showed me a scar on his back from when the teacher like beat him up with a stick after he did that. And uh, my mom actually, this is kind of sad, but she actually, her, my grandpa fought in the army for India, like, all throughout her childhood. So my mom didn't actually have a dad, and she never got to see her dad until she was 10 years old. When, uh, and when she finally did get to see her dad, everyone, when they were telling her, they were like, uh, oh, your dad's coming, your dad's coming home, your dad's finally here. And my mom, she didn't know what a dad was. So she got scared and she locked herself in a closet. <laughs> she was so scared because she, Never knew what a dad was until she was 10 years old. Yeah. Guys, I think we're okay now. We could probably go downstairs. Guys, did you hear that? Dude, what is it? What? Guys, it's again. It's coming up, guys. Guys. Oh my gosh. Dude, go down.